Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I have this portable ultralight touchscreen monitor from Desklab and the goal of this video is to show you its features and functionality. So let's get started. If it's your first time on my channel, consider subscribing as I do regular videos for various smart tech like this one, smartwatch and smartphone reviews, tech tutorials and much more. Also check out the playlist tab to find categorized videos for various content I post on this channel. So Desklab has announced their ultralight portable 4K touchscreen monitor and today I have one with me over here. Right off the back, the goal of this video is not to influence your purchase decision but to show you what this portable monitor has to offer. You can purchase at your sole discretion. For further information about this product and price, check the direct link to their website in the description of this video. So let's start with unboxing. It came in a box like this one with Desklab logo and graphics on the front and the back. Full disclosure, I have already opened this box ahead of time to see if it was functional. So inside the box, there is this magnetic flip case which is not included and it will be a separate purchase. In fact, they have an ultimate accessory bundle which includes this magnetic cover, sleeve, USB-C multi-port hub, tablet stand and many other accessories in one bundle. Or you can even purchase them separately from their website. You can check the price of these accessories in the link to their website in the description of this video. This magnetic cover feels premium with textured surface and precise edge corners and cutouts. You will see later on during this video that it fits quite well. Moving on further down in the box is the portable monitor itself. We'll come back to that in a second. Further down there is this user manual. And there are two cables, one of which is a USB Type-C male to USB Type-C male cable and the other one is the HDMI to mini HDMI cable. The use of these cables will be shown later on during this video. So that's it with unboxing. With that being done, let's talk about the portable monitor itself. The monitor feels premium. It definitely feels lightweight. It feels like I'm holding an iPad, slightly heavier than that. The precise weight of this monitor is about 733 grams. The one I have is a 15.6 inch Full HD 1920 by 1080 resolution, 16 by 9 aspect ratio IPS monitor. They also offer an ultra high definition 3840 by 2160 4K touchscreen monitor which is obviously expensive than the one I have over here with me. Let's talk about the build quality and connectivity options. So this monitor is made of some form of a textured metal, feels premium, the corners and edges are precisely cut and the monitor itself is remarkably thin, only 0.23 inches. There is a desk lab logo at the back and the front. The bezels are minimal, it's not a bezel-less monitor. The bottom thick bezel can sometimes be in your way if your laptop is thin but ideally it makes sense to have it for a smooth workstation experience with the laptop. Anyways let's talk about the IO. On the right hand side you'll find ports like mini HDMI, two USB Type-C ports with a microphone in between them and a micro USB port to connect your keyboard, game controller and other accessories, more details later during the video. A worth thing to mention is the metal frame is precisely cut out to the ports giving a premium feel. Anyways at the bottom, there are two kickstands with speaker cutouts at the bottom. I find that if you place the monitor on the desk at a slight angle, the speaker sounds great but if you were to place the monitor perpendicular to the table, it may sound muffled, which is apparent. On the left hand side, there is this power button and a rocker button which can roll up and down as well as click. More details later on during this video. Lastly, at the back, there is the Desklab logo and I think there is a strong magnet over here 
which is used to attach the magnetic flip case. Let me show it to you. So the magnetic flip case will be folded up like this with a crease in the front. Don't damage the crease. Let me show it to you how to apply it. So open up the back part and place it on the back of the portable monitor. It's a perfect fit. You can't go wrong over here. Once done, flip the front part back. The top part of the crease is magnetized so it will stick with the back part and you can use the remaining part to angle the monitor to your desired place. Due to the rubberized kickstand at the bottom the monitor will not slide whatsoever. There is a protective film on the front which I haven't taken off yet. Let's go ahead and take it off. Now let me show you in real time how it works with both my Windows laptops and my Android phone. At the end I'll show you a gameplay as well. Now first thing first this monitor does not have a built in battery and that is why it's remarkably lightweight. So that being said you will need a constant power supply. It can use the power from your phone or laptop but I'll not recommend you that as boy with just 20 minutes of gameplay from my Android phone without the charger plugged in it sucked the battery life of my phone from 60% to just 10% so I didn't even dare to try that on my laptops. They do say on the user manual that the power adapter will only be provided for the 4k version. So that's why there was no power adapter with this model. Few important points I want you guys to know from this user manual is that most PC and laptops do not output 5 volt 4 ampere power and will not provide sufficient charge to power the 4K model without additional power supply. So standard chargers will also not output sufficient power for the 4K version. So look out for a 5 volt 4 ampere 20 watt charger for the 4K version. My Samsung smartphone charger is sufficient for this 1080p version which needs only 5 volt 2 ampere power. Another important point is if your laptop or device is not already touchscreen enabled this monitor's touch function may not be compatible. All the devices that I use during this video are compatible but devices like MacBooks are not touchscreen enabled. So keep that in mind. And the last important point is touchscreen function is only enabled when connecting to your device via USB Type-C port as shown in option A and B as the HDMI connection does not output touch signal so keep that in mind. So with that being said let's connect my Acer Spin 5 which is a touchscreen laptop and it has a lot of ports like HDMI, USB Type-C and has its own charging pin so I don't need to charge the monitor if I am charging my laptop. So let's connect it first via Type-C cable pretty straightforward plug and play situation. I will also charge my monitor with my Samsung smartphone's charger so it does not suck up my laptop's battery life. You can go in the control panel and display settings to organize the monitor placement to your desired settings. So you can see that the touchscreen works great and it's quite functional and satisfactory workstation. The only caveat over here is that I was not able to find the option to orient this monitor vertically which will be helpful for coders. Speaking of that let me quickly familiarize you with the menu. So to enter the menu just click this rocker button. You'll find options like picture wherein you'll find options to adjust brightness contrast, modes like standard, game, movie, photo, vivid and custom. DCR also known as dynamic color range and sharpness. To exit the menu or go back you can click the power button. Next is colors where you can adjust temperature, hue, saturation, blue light which is my personal favorite and color gamuts. 
Next is volume, under which is the others option which includes languages, ultra HDR and reset. Under that is input type which you can switch between auto, type C and HDMI. Lastly it's the OS display settings like you can change the horizontal and vertical positioning of this menu along with its transparency and on time. So this to me feels like a pretty intuitive menu. Okay now let's quickly connect this laptop to the monitor via HDMI. So as you can see with only HDMI, the touchscreen does not work. So I personally would rather connect it over USB Type-C port for a fluid workstation experience. Now let's quickly connect my Asus ZenBook 3. The problem with my Asus ZenBook 3 is that it only has one USB Type-C port. So if I don't connect this monitor to an external power supply, my laptop will probably not last long. Now this ZenBook 3 is not a touchscreen laptop unlike the previous Acer Spin 5. So let's see if the touchscreen still works. So as you see it does work great, it's just my ZenBook 3 is slightly tiny in comparison to this monitor. Okay so lastly the coolest and my favorite part is connecting my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus to this monitor. Now the newer Samsung Galaxy devices has the Samsung DeX built in. So as soon as I connect the phone to the monitor, the monitor will convert to a desktop and that's because the Samsung DeX which is really cool and my personal favorite. The DeX will not work if there is no power supply to the monitor. In that case, it will just screen mirror. You can also see that my phone is charging along with the monitor. So this is a cool gaming setup except for one thing and that is the game controller for which you will need to purchase separately a micro USB 2.0 OTG cable like this one which has the micro USB on one side and USB female on the other side. Let's plug it in and here you can connect a keyboard or mouse. Let me go ahead and connect my Logitech wireless keyboard and mouse. And you can see it works like a charm. I can also use the monitor and my phone via the touch simultaneously. Truthfully, this itself is a highly functional workstation. Now let's connect the game controller and play a game for which you all have been waiting so far. So I have this uh, PS3 game controller lying around. Let's go ahead and connect it via the OTG cable and play a game. So you can see how satisfying it is to play games with this sort of setup. Now before I end, let me give you a demo of the sound quality of the built-in speaker. Sometimes I just use this setup for viewing YouTube or Amazon Prime videos. It's quite of an immersive experience. So you can imagine there are a lot of functional implication of this particular monitor and you can use it at your best advantage. Now I have this iPhone SE 2020 with me but to connect this iPhone to the monitor you will need a lightning AV adapter like this one which you can get it from Amazon. The Amazon link to all these adapters are linked in the description of this video so go ahead and check it out. I have this lightning to USB Type-C port but this does not work. So overall, I really like this. The display quality, the brightness, speaker quality, it's all great. I even like the build quality of the monitor and the case. 
Personally, this is now my daily driver for the Samsung DeX setup as shown earlier for gaming and other tasks. So that's it. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot. Also follow me on other social media network for early preview to upcoming videos and giveaways. Links are in the description of all my videos. Thanks so much for watching and take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one.